Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. For this week I wanted to do a time lapse of this painting that I just completed last week and I was initially going to do a talk through tutorial of this painting but I have since decided that I just want to do a time lapse. I will tell you a little bit about the materials that I used in this painting. I did use Arches Rough 140 pound paper, I used M Graham watercolors, and for brushes I used a number 6 round, a number 2 round, and a number 30 spotter. The reason I have decided not to do a tutorial is simply because I really enjoyed this painting once I finished it and it's a painting that I think in the future I would like to use perhaps in a shop or something like that. Maybe as prints or stickers or something like that in the future. I haven't yet decided but for that reason I've decided to leave the process kind of to myself. I did however feel like there were a few things that I accomplished really well in this painting so I did want to share with you the process of me painting it. To start I thought the leaves were done really well. Greenery has always been an issue of mine and I have a really difficult time conveying the shadows and the details in a way that looks nice without becoming too dark or too muddy. I really liked that I left some lighter values in there and I thought that the simplicity of these leaves and the varying colors of them, I just felt like overall I was really pleased with how they came out and I felt like it was a step forward in my watercolor practice. As another step forward, I felt like the olives themselves turned out exceptionally well. I feel like a lot of the things that I have done in this painting were similar to things that I've done in the past. However, there was one very distinct difference in that I was able to maintain the white of the paper in some of these areas. Normally for paintings, I tend to overwork or oversaturate my colors in certain areas, and later on I do have to go back through with colored pencils or another medium in order to bring back the highlights. And for me personally, it's not a look that I love, and it's something that I have worked on to be able to maintain those highlights in my painting to really give it a really beautiful overall watercolor look. And for that, I really liked how this painting came out. For me, I think this painting was a really good step in the right direction towards refining some of my skills even further as a watercolor artist and also helping me to find a style that I will continue to use and hone and really make my own in the future. Now, like I said, this will not be a tutorial video. So for the remainder of this video, I will play some music and I hope that you enjoy this watercolor process and me painting it. I hope that you enjoy this video and I will see you all next time. Bye!